Okay, in my last video, I was talking about what's the best way to learn guitar online and who's the best guitar teacher for you. That's all because of a video I made a couple of weeks ago about some clown called John McLennan who was trying to shill a barcode boot camp for $500. $500 to learn how to play barcodes at a boot camp. Jeez, I'm sure John is a nice guy and I'm sure he's a great guitar teacher and he's helped loads of people, but I'm sorry, I can't get behind the 10x marketing crap and $500 to learn something that can easily be learned for free or for the cost of one face-to-face -face guitar lesson. Anyway, I'll leave links to those videos in the description. But in my last video, I ended up by saying that you know, it's subjective. You, you can't say which guitar teacher or which course or, you know, which, which dude's the best. I mean, this guy's course might be great for somebody else and not so good for anybody. It, there's too many variables. Like, how long have you been playing? What's your skill level? What style do you want to learn? <laughs> Electric or acoustic guitar? Do you like your guitar teacher to be wearing a hat or not? I mean, it's a thing on, on YouTube. To be a successful YouTube guitar teacher, you need to wear a hat. I don't make the rules. See, too many variables, hats aside. So today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at some of the stuff that's already out there and compare a few of the websites and guitar teachers and stuff. And you can make your own mind up. How's that? You see, if you have as much info as I can fit into like a 10 minute video, then you might be a little bit better informed and you can make your own mind up. How about that? Before we jump into the world of a learning guitar today, this guy. Hi, it's Andy from the future. Just like to take a minute to ask a huge, huge favor. YouTube at the minute is more competitive than ever. There's so many channels out there and it's really, really, really hard to get videos in front of people these days. So if you enjoy the video, it'd be pretty cool if you'd like and subscribe, it really does help out. Even drop a comment and say hi. I'll always do my best to say hi back. Anyway, back to the video. Okay, I still stand behind my original statement in my last video, and that is, look around first. Have a look on YouTube online and see what is available for free, especially on YouTube. There are so many great guitar teachers on YouTube, and they do free lessons and stuff. I mean, you can usually spot them pretty easily. It's the hats. Or what you can do is go through the comments section on my last guitar course video. A lot of people dropped a lot of names, you know, of their go-to guitar guys on there. And you might want to check some of them out. I've heard of some of them. I hadn't heard of some of them. I haven't had a chance to go through them all yet. But, you know, if other people are recommending these guitar teachers for their free lessons and stuff, then it's definitely got to be worth checking out, right? But, what do you do? if you can't find a free online YouTube guy with a hat um, to teach you what you want to learn. Well, there's other resources and what I'm gonna look at today is what they are and how much they cost and who are they best for. Now, I didn't make this list myself, full transparency. This is just a load of info that I have garnered from hours and hours and hours of internet research. I haven't taken every guitar course available. That would be ridiculous. So, I mean, I can't judge them fairly like that. And like I say, I'm just pointing you in a direction, letting you know what seems to be the most popular and how much they cost and stuff like that. This isn't a sponsored video or anything. Um, you know, I'm not getting anything for this. So it's an unbiased opinion of somebody who plays guitar. So the general consensus seems to be that number one, one of the most popular online guitar learning things is called Guitar Tricks. Now, I've seen a lot of ads for these guys, and I know a few people have done the Guitar Tricks courses, and they swear by them. It's like $20 a month, you can cancel at any time, you know, just give me a notice and that's you dumb. Or you can pay for a one-off $150 for the year, something like that. And, this is important, they do a free trial. What makes this site stand out from the others? It's got like a core learning system is what it's called. It's a set of courses organized like a proper, you know, classwork school curriculum that, that, that takes you through some of the fundamentals of guitar playing. Then it lets you continue on your path, you know, into a specific genre. So, you know, blues, country, rock, acoustic guitar. Um, like I say, it's up to you. 
but someone who needs a bit of structured learning will be at home with guitar tricks. Um, while True Fire, which I'll come on to shortly, I'll, t I'll talk about True Fire in a minute, offers learning paths. The approach taken on guitar tricks seems a bit more structured and logical. So, pros and cons. Pros. The core learning system is an excellent path for novice to learn guitar. It feels more organised and linear than a lot of other online guitar courses. Every genre has a massive, huge library of songs with, you know, a lesson on playing the guitar parts for each one, lead and rhythm. Uh, there's an excellent backing track library in different styles and keys and stuff. The lesson videos feature quality instructors who communicate the information very well. Guitar Tricks also has the ability to download video lessons to your computer. I mean, that's, that's very handy because you, when you just come back to them, do what you want. Guitar tracks are the way to go if you are often not online or you have a slow internet connection or anything like that. So it's good for that. And uh, you do get some SMS, you know, reminders to practice, kind of like that Duolingo thing. And, you know, it can be a little nudge that some people need to pick the guitar up every day. Cons of guitar tricks. The site seems better suited for beginners and, you know, early intermediates. If you've already reached that point, then other online courses might be a, you know a bit better suited to you some genres outside the more popular ones you know genres like reggae and gospel seem missing from the site's offerings but um you know i think that's quite a small thing and guitar tricks instructors are great but they have fewer famous and touring pro guitarists than true fire does if that kind of thing's important to you so yeah guitar tricks good one if you're a beginner intermediate and you know you, you need something structured uh the second one i'm going to talk about is true fire i mean if you watch channels like um five watt world and you know channels like that they always talk about true fire now i don't know man keith who's on five watt world i mean i trust that guy like implicit i trust him with my pets even though keith doesn't wear a hat now, True Fire again is like, I don't know, $20 a month, $120 for the year. And again, they do a free trial. You know, it's in a trend here. None of these guys so far want $500 up front for a bar chord boot camp. Jesus, who falls for this? So, True Fire, if you're an immediate or advanced player looking to copy a hero's sound or style, you can search by instructor to see what courses they have available. And there's many, 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 many to choose from. Be mindful that some players may be better instructors than others, which is normal. I mean, you, you get that everywhere. The online tools available make it helpful by letting you slow down or speed up parts. Also very useful. There's loop sections, all with the interactive tabs to follow as well. If you don't want to take a lesson, you can play along to several jam tracks and stuff that's available, both free and paid. All of them are high quality, include charts to see the changes and come in various styles. There is no shortage of stuff on True Fire. So, pros of True Fire. The amount of content is huge. There's something for everybody. The learning paths offer a more or less set curriculum with suggested extracurricular activities the speed and looping tools are excellent for narrowing in on you know different passages and the interactive follow along tab is beneficial i mean i i, I like the fact you know you can say right i'm going to do this section and just keep going back until you've got it um, the other one you can buy individual courses as well if you want though the membership fees are they're reasonable they're good for the content available cons of true fire i don't know if this is a con but the amount of content is huge beware of option paralysis especially if you're a beginner there is so much it could just scrabble your brain um but there is no um on there is no downloading option so it's either working online or not at all so yeah true fire um i think out of the two of them so far i'd, I'd probably go for true fire but but you know again i don't class myself as a beginner I'm not very good, but I'm not a beginner. <laughs> Next up is Fender Play. Again, $20 a month, $150 a year, and yet again, a free trial. No $500 up front for a bar chord fecking boot camp. So Fender's made the jump into guitar education with their Fender Play services. You've probably seen the ads for them. After you answer a few questions to determine your motivations for playing the instrument, electric, acoustic, bass, ukulele, playing level, and favourite genre, the site curates content to help you get the most out of it. 
So, you know, it's tailored for you. The learning paths are well organized by each level, each containing different courses, and these range from chords to single note and strumming exercises, you know, to bits of songs. All done to let beginners ease into the instrument and play songs and riffs quickly. Most lessons come with a practice mode that allows you to follow along to interactive tabs and backing tracks. Speed and looping tools are also available to help you nail the part. You see, sp speed and looping tools are brilliant when you're learning. Uh, there's also the very cool feedback mode where you play into your computer's microphone while doing the exercise and the site will give you feedback on your performance and areas for improvement. This excellent feature will help those decide if they can move on to the next lesson or not. Once you're ready to assume your rock god status, you can also learn and play an extensive catalogue of songs, most with lessons. The videos are high def with multiple camera angles, including picking hand and fingering positions, below the videos, chord charts and tabs that are clear and helpful. The ability to make the video window smaller while looking at the tab is a nice touch, making it easier to practice. Where the site surprises us though is in the overall price. Fender Play costs $19.99 monthly or $150 annually. And I'm considering the site is mainly geared towards beginners, it is going to be a tough sell for intermediate or advanced players, particularly since for a few dollars more, you get a massive catalogue of lessons and learning to play with jam play plus true fire or free lessons online with Justin Guitar, who I mentioned before, albeit without the interactive tools. So the pros of Fender Play, it's a good option for beginners, especially with the practice and feedback tools. Getting actual feedback on your progress can be a huge help for, you know, a lot of people learning to play guitar. Courses are well organized and tailored for various skill levels, high quality video and knowledgeable instructors, Membership sales are sometimes available when Fender runs specific promotions. So, you know, always keep your eye out for them if it's something you might be interested in. Cons. Like with everything, there's cons. Advanced players will be hard pressed to find anything of value. Not every song includes a lesson. Not every lesson has a feedback mode available. And it's pricey compared to the other options. Look, right, these are just three of the options that are out there. And for what they are, I think they're good. They're good value for money. $20 a month, cancel at any time. $100 up front for a year or $150 for a year, a free trial. You're not paying $500 up front to learn how to make bar chords. That's ridiculous. But what other options are there? Well, like I said, there is a ton of free stuff on YouTube. I mean, there's, there's Marty Schwartz, Justin Guitar, both hat guys. Uh, there's Andy. There's tons of dudes doing free guitar lessons on YouTube, and I'm not going to lie, most of them are pretty good. Everyone's got their own favourites. I mean, some just walk you through the lessons. Some have tabs and, you know, chord diagrams and all the rest of it. I mean, there's guys on there that just do guitar lessons for one specific band. There's a dude on there that I've watched a few times, and he does nothing but Iron Maiden lessons. Can't remember his name, but he's good. And there's a Japanese dude who just does Richie Blackmore lessons. Can't understand a word he's saying, but I've learned a few songs off him. Maybe try this right. Think of a guitar player you'd like to learn their songs. And you know, you, you say you want to play guitar like Angus or Malcolm Young and look up ACDC guitar lessons and find somebody who you like who's teaching their songs. I mean, if you need something more structured, then check out you know some subscription based courses there's bound to be one that's a good fit for you i mean i recently just got a year subscription to ultimate guitar for like 24.99 which is a bargain all the tabs and guitar lessons i could ever want and i can do it at my own pace that's just what i'm using right now but what i will always say is stay away from the dudes that are pressuring you with a constant barrage of emails and are trying to teach you three thousand year old secrets at a bar chord boot camp for five hundred dollars this is just madness avoid those guys and hopefully they'll all start going away soon anyway thanks for watching i hope i, I hope this is giving you a, a you know something to go at don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video do all that youtube stuff and don't forget to stream every wednesday 9 p.m uk time we talk about guitars music stupid lyrics all kinds of things it's good fun anyway thanks for watching take it easy peace out